Now, what 10 fragrances won't I stop recommending? This was a tag. This was actually fairly difficult, but cue the intro. Hi, I'm Gabby and welcome back to another edition of the Fragrantition. Um, I was tagged by the wonderful Joe, who is Mr. Fragrance. Um, thank you for tagging me, Joe, um, on 10 fragrances that I won't ever stop recommending. And he was initially tagged by Barry from Centralize. So I'll link those two channels down below and hopefully their videos as well, so you can see their videos. Um, and I have to say, this was a difficult background music. Difficult. This was um, one to do. I had to think about it long and hard. There were some that I've included that in previous videos, but I think there's a couple actually new ones maybe that I haven't talked about before and I won't ever stop recommending these fragrances so let's just jump into it so first one I'm going to talk about oh, itchy, it, oh, no, I always get itches oh good thing good thing I haven't had Botox I wouldn't be able to move all of this this is au natural. So the first fragrance I'm going to talk about actually is this little baby and this is Ghost. Yes, Ghost. Came out in the year 2000. Lovely, beautiful, powdery, rose, vanilla, Turkish delight style fragrance um, that I used to wear and I still wear from time to time. Um, it's quite empty. This bottle, I think, is over half empty now. But it is a lovely scent trail of a fragrance. Absolutely stunning. And it's very underrated. It's not talked about a lot in the beauty industry. Um, it's the original Ghost. It, they've bought out a ton, a ton of flankers. Um, but I just like the original one. And it sells. Um, and yeah i adore it i love the shape of it it's absolutely stunning of a of a soft rose vanilla vanillic fragrance and it's non-offensive and i'll recommend it to anyone so that's ghost the original ghost next fragrance i'm going to talk about is the one and only jimmy choo original again jimmy choo lovely toffee orange patchouli scent strong beast mode almost um this one lasts quite a long time on me um i did a review on this a while back um and i absolutely adore it um i have used a, a little bit of amount of it actually but you don't need to use a lot of this fragrance it smells gorgeous i'm just going to refresh myself with it yeah if you like patchouli, then you'll love this. And if you don't, well, more for me. But um, yeah, toffee, patchouli. It's got that, it's got some orange in there as well, I think. I absolutely love it. And my old boss used to wear this. So this was her signature scent, one of her signature scents. And it smelled gorgeous on her and so yeah i love it if you want if you want one for a signature fragrance if you want one for partying although we're not partying we're not clubbing we're potentially going into lockdown complete lockdown and when i say complete lockdown it should be complete lockdown that's another video though but yes jimmy choo the original Jimmy Choo. The one I'm going to talk about is none other than the OG, but this is a flanker of the OG, and that is Alien Essence Absolute. Let's refresh myself with this. Oh, vanilla, myrrh, jasmine, absolutely stunning, central, forever. Oh, 
so beautiful sadly discontinued but you can still get it in some places this is a 60 ml um, I've sucked quite a lot of the life out of this but um, I will only wear this in this time of the year in autumn and winter maybe early days of spring but this the next beautiful. fragrance that I'm going to talk about and that is the OG it's alien um, this is a 2011 version and if you can see from the video I've actually sucked a lot of the juice of this here I've actually slapped it a lot on and this one was a limited edition it came with this bracelet here and I do have another bottle of it yes that's how sad I am so let's spray this I'm gonna spray lovely spray lovely I'm gonna smell lovely this is jasmine this is white amber this can be any of these fragrances can be worn by man woman whatever you are um, whoever you are um, but I just love Alien absolutely stunning the OG of skanky dirty jasmine and white ambers oh, I've got such an itchy 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 nose I've got such a sensitive nose next fragrance I'm going to talk about is none other than Hot Couture by Givenchy the best raspberry well there are two other raspberry scents that I own that, I, I, that I've uh, come close to this, but I would say this is peppered raspberry. This is has a twist of a black pepper in there and it has amber um, in there as well as musk. Absolutely stunning. Let's spray this on this arm. Yeah, I can smell that immediately, that pepperiness with the raspberry, the embers burning. If you're, if you're just it's like a, a, a wood burning fire and the embers are burning and you're toasting marshmallows and you're wearing the scent. Beautiful, absolutely love it. Givenchy Hot Couture. This one I'm gonna talk about is probably the, the, one of the best white floral scents, if not the best white floral scent, and that is Dior Pure Poison. I won't stop talking about. Yeah, let's spray this. I'm just gonna be a cacophony. Is that the word? Oh, yes, yes. Um, this, this is orange blossom. It's jasmine, it's sandalwood, it's white amber. It's got mandarin orange in the top there. But basically it's the jasmine, the orange blossom, the neroli again it's got yeah forget it's got neroli in there and white amber neroli jasmine and orange blossom are the trio of the white florals in there and it's absolutely beautiful i also have a vintage formula this is a reformulated formula but it still smells just as nice absolutely stunning so that is deal pure poison so the next fragrance I'm going to talk about actually again is a white floral with ginger see I do like my white florals I do like my floral fragrances if they're blended well and this is a recent purchase that my husband bought for me and that is Twilly Dernes which I will not stop recommending now this is has moderate projection and moderate longevity on me so I'd say it's probably about five hours longevity on me and the sillage I would say is about arm's length so it is really nice it's not beast mode on me but it's still really really lovely it's it's tuberose combined with ginger and um, sandalwood but it's the ginger and the tuberose that are probably prominent but the tuberose is blended really well so if you're frightened of tuberose you shouldn't be frightened of this I think this is a crowd pleaser this is it's just beautiful though it really is beautiful the tuberose isn't too buttery it's not too green it's not too fresh it's not too prominent um, Hermes have blended it really really well with the ginger and the sandalwood the ginger gives it some almost not spicy it's soft spicy it's fresh very very fresh let's spray it on here yeah it's mm, very very fresh it is it's 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 
It's, it is it's a crowd pleaser. I, you can't go wrong with Hermes. You can't go wrong with Trilly Hermes. And I love the little bowler hat. The little nod to the bowler hat there with the Trilly scarf. I mean, the packaging is lovely, but it's what's inside that matters. And Trilly Hermes is the one. What I'm going to talk about actually is this little one. And I've got it in this box. Some boxes I keep. Yes, Black Excess by Paco Rabanne. I love the male version as well as the female version. I have the female version in here. And I have several bottles of this. So this is, if you're looking for the best cranberry with a cacao pod note, this is it. Let's spray this. Mm. It's gorgeous. I absolutely love it. And on some people it doesn't last on their skin and the projection isn't there, but on me it does last. And it's deep, it's sultry, it's slightly gothic. I love it. I did a whole review on this. Um, and yeah, I won't stop talking about it. Black Excess by Paco Rabanne. The next one I'm gonna talk about is, is, I'm gonna talk about this little baby because I won't stop recommending Angel. I won't. It is cotton candy, berry, candy floss, patchouli bomb, it's, it's beautiful. I have a vintage here as well, as well as the original, but you still can't go wrong with the original. The original is just as good, I think, you know. It was when we had all of this oak moss, you know, flying around that oak moss note, what, eight, nine years ago. I mean, this was, I think this has been reformulated maybe more than once. I mean, this is the 2019 version I bought last year and it works just as well on me. Um, I don't, I, I, I even don't underspray this one. So you can smell me coming, but hey ho, it's me, I love it, Angel. And then the final one that I won't stop recommending and it was, I, I will do a review on this, but I will not stop recommending this fragrance by Lush. Um, and I did talk about it in a previous video that I wanted it and now I have it. Um, my dad fortunately did buy it for me. So this is Imogen Rose by Lush. And um, I used it all up and now I've got another bottle now. So, oops, it's the wrong way. It is slightly fresh, but it is, it is a gothic rose. It's dark rose. It's got, I think in there, orris root in there as well, which gives it that deepness and that broodiness. It's almost broodiness about it. Um, not for everybody, but it's for me. And I got this from Mastille from eBay. Or rather my dad did, thank you, my dad did. So, yes, so, um, you know, it was, it was a steal and, you know, we're talking, you know, under, it, well, it, well, it, well, it was a steal. So, um, and I will not stop recommending this fragrance, although it's been discontinued, you can still get it on eBay. There are extor extortionate prices, but I didn't pay an extortionate price for it because I'm good at um, haggling and getting a deal. If I want it, I will have it. So Imogen Rose, um, in my opinion, the best Lush fragrance that I have ever owned. And I am going to use this sparingly. Although it's going to be very, very hard, but yeah. So those are the fragrances that I won't stop recommending. What? are the fragrances that you won't stop recommending. I suppose I have to do, I have to tag somebody now. So I am going to tag the one, the only Paola Bianca. Paola Bianca? Yes, I'm gonna tag you girl. And the other lady that I am actually going to tag in this um, video. Do you know what, I haven't even thought about it. Who shall I tag? Who shall I tag? Who comes to my mind that I want to tag in this video? I will tag, um, actually, I'm gonna tag, I don't know who I'm gonna tag. I'm gonna tag, um, 
I forgot who I'm talking. <laughs> This is it, you see. This is it, you see. I go, I go, I go, go to Meltdown. Paola Bianca, I'm going to tag you in this video. I really am. And actually, I'm going to tag, and you've got to do it. She comes to my mind. Now, I'm actually going to tag the one, the only, the famous Dr. Rose. Yes, Dr. Rose, I'm tagging you, and I want you to do this. Ten fragrances that you will never stop recommending. I'd like to know what yours are, because... I think you're in for a treat from our Dr. Rose. So those are the two people I'm going to tag. So don't forget, like, comment down below. Give a thumbs down if you want to. It's okay to give, it's okay to give a thumbs down. That's absolutely fine. But I would prefer a thumbs up. And I will see you in the next video. But ciao for now. And don't forget, don't just dab it on. Slap it on. Bye.